Okay, just for ID purposes, that's the thing I'm going to be talking about. So like that. So yeah, um, <clears throat> leave it to me to find a way to hurt myself with a super hot pepper without uh, even eating it. Uh, I ate a piece of that chocolate seven pie yesterday and it was the hottest thing I have ever eaten in my life. It was, whew. <laughs> the other video, you've probably seen that if you're watching this. So anyways, I get home. Uh, everything's fine. It actually only took about 20 minutes from eating the pepper till the burn was pretty much almost gone. It was like I knew I'd eaten something hot, but it wasn't even close to painful anymore. Like, it only hurt for 10 minutes, maybe 12, maybe 15. But, uh, I came home and, uh, goofed off on the computer a little bit, drank a couple glasses of water, then lay down in bed. Uh, wasn't sleeping too long when, uh, I had to get up, head the washroom. When I awoke, I noticed that, like, there was burning, but it was like, <clears throat> my junk was on fire, uh, my right hip was on fire, and my butt was flaming on fire, and it hurt. I've never eaten a super hot, so I had no clue as to exactly what was doing it, but it, it was burning. It felt like I'd rubbed the stuff all over, and I barely touched the pepper and washed my hands real carefully. And I didn't touch myself all over the place either, in case you're wondering. So, uh, came back to bed, lay down, and the flame, it just, I kept flipping, I sleep on my side, I kept flipping side to side, and the burning just kept moving around, and like, it was really, really sore, and, uh, I ended up waking up again, heading to wash them again, I drink a bunch of water, and, uh, still the burning, and the burning, and, uh, so from about 2 o'clock until around 9 o'clock, no, no, about 8 o'clock, I couldn't sleep, really, and it was just burning, and I, I thought maybe this is what happens in super hots, or, it might happen to unfortunate individuals like myself. Anyways, uh, my girlfriend woke up a while later, or well, okay, around 8.30 or so. She woke up and uh, she steps over me and there's this extreme pain on my right hip. It just felt like I'd been cut open. It, it just felt horrible. And all of a sudden I feel some plucking at it and it felt like the skin was loose, right? It, it just felt like I'd been cut open and somebody was like plucking at the open wound. And uh, I kind of squiggled and said, no, no. And then she said, you got a hot pepper stuck to you. And so uh, the pepper, which I showed in the opening uh, run in there, it's like completely basically desiccated. Like I ground it into nothing. Uh, all the oil got squeezed out by my butt and my junk and my hip. And uh, Looking at the bed, there are red splotches. There's about seven or eight red splotches where the thing got ground in, and it was like stuck to my butt when I woke up. And the pain, it still hurts, man. Like this is, it's three o'clock as I record this now, so it's still just burning all over the place. Um, so, yeah, uh, yeah, it really hurts. I have washed it, it nothing's working. So I'm just hoping that it'll stop sometime. But, uh, yeah, man, like, I knew the super hots would be dangerous, but I didn't know they'd come for me when I was sleeping. Uh, so message to all of you, if you get a box of deadly hot peppers from someone, don't open them and put them on your bed. Just don't. Bad idea. All right? Thanks again, Kevin. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wow. I didn't know it would touch me like this. Cheers.